In this part of chemistry 2, we are going to solve the first exercise of the worksheet related to thermochemistry. In the first exercise, we have, or we have this equation, which is hydrogenation of acetylene to ethylene. And we will calculate this standard reaction enthalpy using three different methods. We start by the first one. We use the standard enthalpies of formation. We have in this table all the data that we need to calculate this first or to calculate the enthalpy of formation or to calculate the standard enthalpy from this enthalpy of formation. So we start by writing first the chemical equation. We have all the substances in the gaseous state. In the first method, we are going to use the standard enthalpy of formation. So we have the standard enthalpy of this chemical reaction, which is the, we have here the standard enthalpy of formation of products minus the standard enthalpy of formation of the reactants. So we write minus So here is the equation, but we know that the standard enthalpy of elements is equal to zero. So we have here, we have to plug the values of the standard enthalpy of formation of ethylene and acetylene. We have for the C2H4 is equal to 52.3. Minus for the reactant C2H2 is equal to 226.7, and we get a value of minus 174.4 kilojoules per mole, which is negative, which means that this equation is. An exothermic process. Now for, for the second question, we'll calculate the standard reaction enthalpy of this equation from the standard enthalpies of combustion. So we'll have to write the reaction of combustion of each substance. So we start here by C2H2 plus O2, which gives carbon dioxide and water. We have here the this equation. Here we have the this equation corresponds to or we write it by here. It corresponds to the combustion reaction of C2H2. But here we have to balance the equation. We have here two carbon. And also we have five oxygen. So here we have to balance. Now the second combustion reaction of the hydrogen. Here water is formed. Also here we have to balance the equation and here it corresponds to this combustion enthalpy that we call 2. The third one is the combustion of the C2H4.
which gives also CO2 and water. And here we have the third combustion reaction. And here also we have to balance this equation. So we have here 3. But here if we add all this combustion reaction, we cannot obtain this chemical equation. So we have to reverse this last one. Because C2H4 is a product, not a reactant. So we have to balance. So multiply by minus 1. So we get this. 2CO2 plus water, which gives C2H4 gaseous state plus oxygen. But here we have to balance the equation. Here the stoichiometric coefficient of 2 wasn't added because here we have 4 hydrogen, so we must add 2. So here it is 2. Now this chemical reaction corresponds to this standard enthalpy of combustion. So we have to multiply by minus 1. And the sum of these three equations we get here we have C2H2. And also here, we have 2H2O that will be cancelled with the H2O from the products of these two first chemical reaction. Plus, we have here H2. And also the oxygen atoms, here we have the sum of these two give, gives 3O2 and here we have 3O2 so we can cancel and we get and also here we have 2CO2 and here we have 2CO2 so it is also cancelled and we get at the end C2H4 in gaseous state and here we have the standard enthalpy of reaction which is equal to the sum of this three this one this one and this one which is equal to the chemical or the combustion of the first substance plus the combustion of the second substance hydrogen minus the combustion reaction of the third substance and we plug the value of each this enthalpy here we have for the first one which is C2H2 is equal to minus 1300 plus for hydrogen it is minus 285.8 And the third one it is equal to 1411 in negative value. And we get at the end this enthalpy. Of course, it, this value must be close to the previous value that was calculated from the standard enthalpy of formations. 174.8 kilojoules per mole which is almost equal to the previous one that was calculated from the standard enthalpy of formation now we we'll use the third method which is based on bound energies for the bound energies we have to draw the Hess's diagram So here we'll rewrite again the chemical equation.
which correspond to this standard enthalpy of reaction. But to use the chemical bound, we need to break the bounds between these molecules and to form this molecule through the formation or through the formation of bonds. So here we need a second part, which is indirect. So we can go to this substance through the breaking of these bonds. And enthalpy is a state function, so it doesn't depend on the path. So here we need to first draw the chemical structure of the, this molecule. So here we first need to break the bound between the triple bound and CHCH. So to break this bound, this triple bound, we need to provide energy that corresponds to these triple bounds. But the breaking of the bound is endothermic process. And here we have the values that are given are all negative, which correspond to the formation of bonds. When it is negative, it is a formation. And the breaking is an endothermic process, so it must be positive. So we need to multiply by minus 1. And here also we have to break this bond, delta H, C, H. But we have to multiply by 2 and minus, because it is a breaking process. So we have to multiply by 2 because we have 2 CH. And here again we have molecule H, H. We need also to break this bond. So we get here minus the bound the inner bound energy of between H atoms. Also here it must be multiplied by minus one because it is an endothermic process. So all these are positive value. And here we get the isolated atom in gaseous state. We have carbon in gaseous state plus four hydrogen atoms in gaseous state. And we can get this substance. And here to form this substance, we need to draw also the Lewis structure. So here we need to form this bond. We need this energy. So this energy is instead, in this case, it is released. So the formation is an exothermic process. So it must be negative. And also the formation of 4CH. We need to provide, or this energy will be released from the molecule to form this type of chemical bonds. And also here it is negative. So now, because enthalpy is a state function, so the standard enthalpy of this reaction is equal to the sum of all these bound energies. So we replace here minus 2 into H CH minus the H plus 4 Bond energy between CH plus the formation of the double bond. So we plug the values of each this energy into this equation. So we we plug all this value in a calculator. And we got at the end minus 169.4 kilojoules per mole. Here, don't forget to multiply by 4. So we can notice that it is very close to the value of 174.4 kilojoules per mole. And if we do the difference between them will get a value of about 5 kilojoules difference.
between them. And this difference comes from the value of these chemical bonds that are average values. Because a bond is affected by the interaction between atoms into the molecule to the, the, to the electronic effects. That's why we have these small differences. Now, in the second question of this exercise, we are going to calculate the internal energy and we'll use the average value between these three methods. So the relationship between the standard enthalpy of reaction and internal energy is as follow. Because all these substances are in gaseous state, so we'll assume that they behave like a perfect gas. And we know that PV is equal to nRT. So we get plus RT delta N. R and the temperature are constant. Here we have at 298 Kelvin. Only the number of moles of the of these substances is changing. And the change in internal energy is equal to the standard enthalpy of this reaction minus R T delta n and delta n is equal to the number of mole of the products minus the number of moles of the reactants but only of the gaseous substance so here we can write gas we have one mole of c2h4 minus one mole of hydrogen plus one mole of c2h2 which gives a value of minus one so here we we'll replace by the value and also the average value of the standard enthalpy of reaction will be equal to minus 174 4 minus 174.8 minus 179.8 and we get a value of 173 kilojoules per mole. So we replace by this value here. So we have here or minus, it is negative value. Here R is 831 times 298 times minus 1. And here we have to multiply by 1000 because this value is in joule and this value is in kilojoules. So we multiply by 1000 or by 1 over 1000. And at the end we get a value of minus 170.5 kilojoules per mole. We can also here notice how close they are, the internal energy and the enthalpy of reaction. Because generally in chemical reaction, they are different than the ideal gas transformations. So the internal energy and the enthalpy are very close. Now the last question, we calculate the standard enthalpy of reaction but at different temperature at 340A. And in this case, the heat capacities are not dependent on the temperature. So we apply the Kirchhoff law. So we do have the third question. 
by applying the Kirchhoff law. We have of the, the standard enthalpy of reaction at 348, which is equal to the standard enthalpy of reaction at 298 that was calculated plus the integral between T1 and T final from 298 to 348 the delta CP dt and delta CP is equal to the molar heat capacity of the product which is in this case C2H4 minus the heat capacities of the reactants that are Cp of C2H2 plus Cp of H2 and here we replace in this delta Cp which is equal to minus 35.2 joule Kelvin minus 1 and mole minus 1 so here we have the integral of this value that we call T1, T2 that we call A dt so this value which is A and it is equal to A T between T1 and T2 so we replace in this equation so the enthalpy of reaction at 348 Kelvin is equal to minus 174.4 plus here we have minus 35 348 minus 298 and here we have this value in joule so we need to multiply by 1 over 1000 to convert to the kilojoules and here it is in Kelvin and here it is in Kelvin minus 1 so at the end we get a unit of kilojoule per mole the same as here And we get a value of minus 176.2 kilojoule per mole. So there is a small difference when the temperature is increased to 348. That's all for the first exercise.